Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's go ahead and jump into this Cancer. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Cancer with a clear and concise message from you. All right. So Cancer, it looks like you have somebody who, um, they could be spying on you, spying, stalking, waiting for the opportunity to, the opportunity to manifest itself to where you guys can be back together, physically, sexually, this person wants you back. Um, this person looks at you as a long term, long term you know person or relationship whatever the relationship is whether it's you know boyfriend and girlfriend um long-term lover i don't know you know um this person looks at you as if you're supposed to be in their life forever or vice versa this is you cancer you look at this person that way this person could be trying to go undetected in terms of how they are spying, stalking, and just really looking for any information about if you have a new person, if you have a new opportunity with someone else, somewhere else. This could be you, Cancer, also. Someone is trying to um, fly under the radar. But um, this reading pretty much tells it all because we have the hell shell. You can't see it, but it says hell. So someone is in like a living hell, their own personal hell, whatever that may be. And it might be ruminating thoughts um, for this person, uh, thoughts of unrest and, uh, and unknowing. Because it looks like uh, it's definitely separation here. Um, there could have been some scandal or it was scandalous. Maybe the relationship was or it was covert it was hit it was hidden um and it looks like somebody decided to go their own way someone had the willingness to you know be solo you know go solo um seven of swords here this is uranus and aquarius so could be dealing with an aquarius i don't know but there was like some unexpected jolt or shift either with you cancer or with your your person where somebody just left the dynamic or just turned everything upside down turned it on its head for whatever reason um to get away to get away or push someone away or keep somebody at arm's length here because they really don't want the connection they don't want the relationship they don't want the marriage or whatever there's a person here who wants to reach out give someone a loving message tell someone some good news maybe about their life or um, maybe even about themselves or or the other person you just want to you know give compliments or um, just really reach out and have really nice things to say somebody wants to do that because we have the message the message shell here so someone does want to give a message in that message it's under like there's an ulterior motive in terms of what they're really after. What they're really after is they're trying to gain information about you, about what you're doing, about your relationships. Again, they're trying to go undetected. This person is up right now a little off their rocker because they can't have you or you can't have them. I don't know. Get in where you fit in. Um, they be asking around about you. Uh, they're definitely curious and inquisitive in terms they want to know what it is you're doing and why why the willingness to go solo um this person may have an unhealthy attachment to you or vice versa or it's mutual so someone just doesn't understand why now you want to go solo i thought we were so strong or the connection was so strong um This person may think you have some secret plans. Um, 
some solitary plans about for you and you only. And it doesn't include them. You've not included them in your life. You're moving forward. This is what you're doing or this is what your person is doing or, you know, get in where you fit in. I don't know. This person could be trying to come to you and communicate to you like some good news or about what they're doing or how they're doing how they're doing it, but um, it could be lies. Um, if they're if they're saying that they don't have anybody else, or they're breaking up, or they're getting a divorce, or they're separating, um, it could be an outright lie because we have the three of swords in reverse. Um, they can also be acting as if they're not um, hurt. Uh, or they're not yeah they're trying to come in undetected in terms of not being hurt or not showing they feel their feelings not showing that um they're disturbed by this but we see that they're in some type of living hell whether that's with their person or this is something that they've created for themselves they do want the opportunity to come back the cards are saying they want the opportunity to have you um, right now there is separation you could be reframing from them from you could be abstaining all together you're not you don't really have anybody else or if you do you're keeping people at arm's length you're keeping people at bay you're becoming very desirable um, attractive at this point they feel like you are unattainable it, it's just not going to go in their favor Whatever they say, it's just not going to work out. Whatever plans that they try to make, it's not you're not going to take to it. Or this is how you feel about somebody else's cancer. Um, this person sees you growing. They see you using your talent, your ability. Um, they just, you have this aura about you. Um, or vice versa, this is the other person to where it's making somebody very... Um, highly attractive highly sexual attractive this person also is missing that element of your relationship the sexual element that they, they could be very attracted or stuck on or addicted to that energy because it for them is more than the act of sex this was um the passion uh the feelings that they had uh during sex or that you had for them I don't know, you, you guys could have fallen in love, or they could be in love with you, or you were in love with them, or you were in love, I don't know. Um, but it made for the connection in all facets, whether it was sexual, um, intellectual, um, spiritual, whatever. It's making, it made for the connection uh, to be better. So it made the sex better, it made talking to you better. It just made the connection better. Um, because there was an element of love. I don't know if they loved you or you loved them or it was mutual, but definitely this person is missing that. Um, they are longing for that energy to come back. So, Cancer, you have a week of somebody spying, stalking, prying, or this is you, um, trying to gather knowledge, information. They could even be listening to tarot card readings. If they're not doing that, then, um, yeah, they, they definitely have some secret plans of trying to, to, um, bring you back in. Um, you could have been their secret person. This person could have been married or already coupled. They want this back. They want the entree and the dessert. They just, they don't just want the entree. And, it, and that's for some of you who are dealing with people who are already coupled or married or they have obligation elsewhere. Um, it looks like they're trying to escape that ob obligation. They can even be trying to relate to you that, oh, they're getting out of that or they've come out of that. This all may be a hoax. It all may just be to bring you back in, to suck you back in. So be aware of that. Use your intuition. This person also could be a bit upset that you are using your intuition or vice versa. This is how you feel. Cancer, if you feel like this reading resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question. 
where you can text the question to the number below, paper your question, and receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. Thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you.